Hello, this is a screen recording of um, how to use Videora. It's a free um, software for converting movies to movies playable in QuickTime or the iPod Movie. Um, yeah, I've found it quite a good little bit of software and uh, I generally use it for when I record movies with my pocket video camera. Uh, it, it already records it to the MOV format which is a QuickTime movie but it um, records it at a higher quality than I need so I use Videora to compress it down to um, a file size that's more deliverable on the internet. The other thing I use it for is I record my screens like what I'm doing here using Cam Studio and I record obviously to a full quality AVI movie which is generally played in a Windows movie player and I want to compress those full quality movies down to movies that are playable on the internet and also playable on the iPod though I've never tested that out. And so there are two steps to do it. First of all I go to setup and I um, browse to the folder in which I want my compressed version to go to. Uh, so I'll just open up that and I'll just open up that folder there and I happen to want to put it into screen recordings and go OK. Once I've set that settings then I press save. The other setting is the profile which is basically the compression settings. I'm using a compression codec which is a type of compression uh, called H.264. It's a recent compression codec that is, uh, has better compression rates um, or out, you know, that makes the files much smaller than the other one which was popular up until recently called MPEG-4. Now, um, as I said, H.264 compresses its smaller files than MPEG-4, however, um, H.264 is not as common in players, in other words, the players that are commonly out there may not be able to play H H.264, you need the most up-to-date player, whereas MPEG-4 has been around for a while, so most people with players out there can play those movies. Um, but what matters to me is file size most of all because it's quite easy to go and update the player. Um, but you know, it's just whatever your preferences are. So there's my settings and I save those settings. When I go to convert, so I click that and it brings up this convert screen, I could click trend, uh, quick one click transcode and all that does is it pops up the window of, of um, bringing up all my original files that I want to compress and I just choose one and it starts compressing it. I'll just cancel that. Or I can go transcode new video and it will again ask me to choose one and then it gives me the options to give it a title and set the compression settings. Either one of these is you can queue up with either one of these you can queue up a bunch of videos so if before I go home tonight I could if I had heaps of videos to do I could queue up you know, 20 videos to do and it would just go through each one of them and send it to the um, folder so for free software this is pretty you beauty this is uh, very convenient very helpful before I had to get my hands on good video editing software that had all of these um, exporting options uh, but this is just sort of plug and play one click go sort of thing it's very very convenient Okay, that's Videora. Google search Videora and it will come up.